What is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be going over the entire process of Fashion Nova's business model, sort of, you know, their little marketing strategy, kind of the back end fulfillment and how they've basically made $850 million in a single year. Okay, that's a lot of money for a Shopify store. I got a lot of messages asking like, hey, does Fashion Nova dropship? The answer is no, they do not dropship. But there's a lot of things you can learn from their strategy that you can apply to your own business to make more money and generate more revenue, okay? So well, I wanna start with the owner's course, like background so you guys understand kind of like where he's coming from, why he you know, did certain things over others and kind of break down that sort of process and then kind of move into their marketing and their fulfillment and how you can kind of emulate that on the front end of things even if you are drop shipping or at least you know if you want to do something similar you know sell fashion or be in the fashion industry because a lot of people are and if you want to be in the industry kind of how you can emulate their front end marketing practices and then their back end fulfillment right, let's just let's just get into it before we get started guys make sure to leave a like if you do learn something from this video and be sure to subscribe okay so now right off the bat the owner and founder of fashion over. His name is Richard Say Sagian. Sagian, I definitely butchered that. Okay, but he he founded Fashion Nova in 2006. Basically, he got started working for his father's fashion boutique in LA. He kind of grew up into that sort of fashion world, but then from there he wanted to kind of do his own thing and progress forward um, outside of just what kind of his family business was doing. Okay, now Fashion Nova did not start off as a website. It's 2006. Not everyone into the e-commerce space. These big brands aren't at all in the e-commerce space, and neither was Fashion Nova. Okay, so they actually opened up their first store in LA in a little shopping mall, Panorama. Panorama Mall in LA, okay? So you guys, I took notes for y'all. But all he was selling was cheap, like clubbing clothes, like the clothes that you would just go out with. Like girls, you know, they'd, they'd hit the city at night, party, do whatever, right? He was selling cheap, affordable clothes in that sort of niche, you could say. Then he noticed that there were some websites selling similar clothing and so like exactly the same clothing as well online, selling it for more expensive and pushing more volume. In an interview he did, he literally said that he was really scared and nervous to sort of invest, you could say, into moving into that online space. Originally, his plan was to open up 100 Fashion Nova stores, brick and mortar stores, right? We now know that a lot of brick and mortar stores are closing because of the online space. So he was nervous to launch his brand online, but he eventually did. And I mean, the rest is history, right? Now kind of fast forwarding to basically these last two and a half, three years, right? They were the most searched brand in 2018, okay? Fashion Nova was the most searched brand out of like all the designer brands, all the clothing brands, Fashion Nova was the most searched one. In 2017, they were the fourth most searched brand ahead of Dior, ahead of Chanel, those, you know, big designer brands as well, right? They were, they were above that. But even before they sort of became a thing, right? So I'm assuming most of you guys, if you are aware of Fashion Nova or have been, you've maybe only been aware for a year, two years, three years back, because they weren't really that big. They got kind of established in that space from Cardi B, an influencer with like 19 million followers, okay? With her, they also took a bit of a gamble, right? This, this kind of plays into influencer marketing, but you have to understand, they were paying Cardi $20,000 a month just to rep the clothes, wear them, promote them on her story, pair them, right? This is an interesting part too. She was pairing Fashion Nova clothes, really cheap clothing with really high-end designer like accessories and bags and shoes, right? And he'd, she'd pair it with a Fashion Nova dress or something like that, right? So again, th there's psychology that plays into that. I want you guys to understand that part, but that's really good they got the kick because they were kind of like giving her a bunch of clothing and paying her um, to do that before she really started to pop off. And then with her popping off, the name just sort of blew up and from there, they, they it's like a snowball. Effect. Now, also one thing to note too, and this is why I think it's really smart um, if you are in the e-commerce space, especially in the fashion space to kind of understand them because as a fashion company, you think of like these bigger designer brands, you know, they have these like the runway shows Shows, they have magazine print. Uh, they do like more traditional marketing methods. Fashion Nova did none of that. Okay, they did nothing. It was all online, uh, social media ads, influencer based. Okay, so that's what I think a big sort of like factor plays into this and kind of what we'll uh, touch on right now. Okay, so marketing wise, they work with a network of over 3,000 influencers. I've talked about influencer marketing before in the past, some older videos, but having a network of 3,000 influencers, all you know, posting frequently, um, doing whatnot, not to mention affiliates, right? Because again, anyone can sign up to be a Fashion Nova affiliate, which means you just get a custom link. Someone buys from your link, you get you know a commission on that on that sale. But with actual influencers, you know, 3,000 people that have a large audience, a large following, that they can kind of push and promote product to. Okay, so on top of that, right? Actually, no, I want to touch another thing. This is just for reference. Like another fashion brand, Revolve. Okay, you may have heard of them. They're another fast fashion brand. They cleared one billion in sales in the year 2017. Okay, one billion at the B. And they said in an interview with with that brand, right, that 70% of that revenue of sales came from influencers. 
So they were saying $700 million in sales were attributed or can be attributed because of their influencer marketing. Okay, you have to understand that these fast fashion brands, they kind of use a similar method of just having a huge network of influencers. You, you can see like models and whatnot always posting, you know, Revolve, Boohoo, Fashion Nova, all these other brands to, again, just drive sales, right? Uh, he also said in another interview that a shout out with, uh, who was it, Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian? One of the one of the Kardashians or the Jenners equated to $60,000 in sales, one shout out. Okay, and that was back in 2016, okay? not 2017 or 18 when they were actually really really kind of steamrolling i want to also touch on that richard right the, the owner of fashion nova he hasn't told anyone how much fashion nova has made but in 2017 he said the company grew by 600 percent and that it was profitable okay now this is 2017 now the reason we can kind of estimate and guesstimate that they've made around 850 mil probably more but that's just kind of a conservative number keep in mind that they have 10 million followers on their social media boohoo had 3.1 million at the time and they made 411 million dollars in revenue that year with again similar marketing techniques so it's kind of safe to assume that they made around 850 probably more i wouldn't be surprised if they made over a billion but 850 is a kind of conservative number the next thing we want to do is how they're able to actually be considered a fast fashion brand okay he said the reason they're able to act really fast okay and this is for you know this has, kind of ties into dropshipping with like testing products really fast and seeing which ones like pick up uh, which ones you want to cut etc but they would act fast because they partner with manufacturers based in la okay again they're based in la they partner with uh, manufacturers based in la not you know overseas like China or a lot of, you know, like where we would go to if you're just starting off or, you know, just in fashion looking for garments to be made and stuff. So they partner with LA based manufacturers so that they can get samples made in less than 24 hours. So they see, you know, a big celebrity post something. They have their team make a mock up or design something similar or you know, very similar because it's fast fashion. So like you got to act fast to get, you know, because people see a post they're like, oh, I want that. Where can I find it? They're going to look around, right? So again, you got to act fast. So within 24 hours, it can go from a mock up to a sample because everyone's right there. Their manufacturer are right there fashion nova is right there okay and then within 24 hours of that they can have models wearing them and have product or have a product listed on their shopify store within 48 hours okay within 48 hours oftentimes less okay and that's also because they pay models monday through friday to stay at the fashion nova headquarters office whatever you call it and to pose with over 600 products a week okay, they release over 600 products a week on fashion nova again i hope this puts you know stuff into perspective for you guys when you're looking at you know doing fashion trying to drop ship fashion apparel and accessories you, you, got, you got to realize who the big dogs are what are they doing to generate revenue and what you can do to kind of emulate that on top of that guys they always have a sale or discount running they're a cheap brand they sell products cheap nothing on their site is usually listed over 50 dollars they're, they're basically 50 and under and there's always a sale or discount running you may not always want to do this depending on how you want your brand portrayed right you don't see gucci or dior running discounts every single day that's not that's not on their brand right but fashion nova selling really cheap products having sales and discounts every day is helpful and it gets more sales right and again a lot of these people are repeat buyers right so it really comes down to just fast fashion fast uh, you know, production times, getting the product actually to the customer really fast. Again, they're based in LA, so they can ship uh, basically anywhere. They even have a same day delivery with Postmates around LA if you order from Fashion Nova, okay? So that's kind of how much they're trying to press and get these products into people's hands as fast as possible, okay? In terms of fulfillment, actually, I wanna touch one more thing. They post on Instagram every 30 seconds. Er not 30 seconds, that's a lot, every 30 minutes, okay guys? So they post on Instagram every 30 minutes. Their audience is so big, I mean, if you're dropping 600 products a week, you'd wanna be posting about that pretty frequently, okay? So next one, guys, fulfillment, I wanna talk about the last thing. Again, they work with over 1,000 manufacturers. 1,000 manufacturers. Now you probably are working with one or two manufacturers when you're starting off, right? That's not that's not a bad thing. Everyone's gotta start somewhere, but you guys need to realize, you know, dropping 600 products a week, releasing 600 products a week, especially at sort of the volume they're doing, they probably have different manufacturers doing completely different things. Whereas with you, depending on how many products you wanna launch a week, how many products you wanna test, whether you're building up an audience, trying to get more repeat customers, or just trying to also sort of become another fast fashion brand and capitalize on that, just kind of be aware that, look, they're working with a lot of manufacturers. That's something you should do. Because again, when you're launching these e-commerce stores or brands, you want to have sort of like an end goal in mind. You wanna be able to say, okay, I'm launching this. This is where I wanna be in two years. This is where I wanna be in five years. Again, Fashion Nova launched in 2006, guys. This was not an overnight success. I know you've probably only heard about them for like a year or two, but they've been doing this for over 10 years, 15 years, or not 15, like 13 years. They've been doing this for a while. And the last thing I wanna talk about, which is also an interesting statement, is that in the summer months, 
Okay, 80% of Fashion Nova's inventory is produced in LA. 20% is overseas. In the winter month, 80% is overseas, 20% is LA, okay? So again, this comes back to sort of like a, a logistics sort of issue with most of you guys won't have to really worry about as you're doing like a lot, a lot of volume. But again, that's sort of like logistics where whether it's price that they're worried about or just time of product, the net delivery time basically. How quick uh, you can get it from placing the order and fulfilling their invoice to them actually getting the product to your warehouse or to your fulfillment center, right? So you want faster times like that. Uh, I'm assuming that's just kind of a way to sort of counteract whether, you know, summer months, I'm assuming a lot more clothes are flying off the shelves, smaller garments, thinner garments, stuff like that. They can produce a lot more in LA. Whereas, you know, winter months, if they're selling sort of like heavier, thicker clothing, I, it might just be cheaper to get manufactured in China, okay? Again, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I wanted just to break down sort of the process behind Fashion Nova because I knew you guys literally just was like, does Fashion Nova drop ship? And I was like, clearly not. They're huge, but there's a lot of things you can learn from that, okay, guys? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you guys enjoyed we are doing a lot more videos now i'm trying to get back onto it and just because i think there's a lot of things that i can kind of like run through and show you guys and teach you guys as always there's important links down in the description if you're ever looking to just get more knowledge or just learn more or get started and i'll see you guys in the next video take care i'm talking kind of fast so i'm at a little, a little out of breath but i'll see you guys in the next one take care Peace.